Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create the mathematical table using Python. So first of all, let me show you that how the program will look. First of all, your program will ask for the input, ask for the input number for which you want to create the table. So let's say we want to create the table for eight. So here you can see this is the table, eight ones are eight, eight to the 16 and so on. So this is how the project will look. Now, this is a very simple project. This isn't even a project. This is like a micro or mini project as compared to projects that we create on our channel. This is a simple practice for those who have just learned or just understood about loop or conditional or the input in Python. And they are very eager to practice this on some real life thing like the tables are real life things. So they just want to just practice their skills. So this is a good practice program. So you don't need any package to install like we do in our project videos. You just need Python to install. And now I guess you must have installed Python in your system beforehand only. But if you haven't installed, then I'll provide a link below to how to install and how to set up all the thing to run your Python program. Okay, so let's quickly jump to our editor so that we can start writing a code. Okay, so now we are into our editor. So first of all, let's create an X variable or any variable name that you want. And then we'll take input from the user. So I guess if you have already seen my previous video in which I've shown you how to take input from the user, this is how we take the input from the user. Uh, we just write this input keyword here and then just inside we write a string which will be displayed to the user. So uh, we just want to ask the input from the user. So now in that video, I have said that the output of this input keyword is a string. Now in this project, we want an integer input. We want a number to be multiplied, right? We want to create a multiplication table. So we want a number. This is why what we'll do is we'll write an integer keyword before so that whatever the number that we provide, it will be converted into an number. Okay. Uh, now let's move on and let's create a for loop. So for all those who are new here, just wait for a few seconds. I'll explain you that what is a for loop and what is this range keyword or what is this range function. So for n range 1 to 11. Okay. So what we are doing here is we are creating a for loop. Now, if you don't know that what is a for loop, this is not the video for you. You should go to our previous video where I've explained you that how a for loop works because you need to understand the concept of for loop and range function to understand this program, right? But I'll try to explain you for loop here also. So what for loop does is Let's take this example only. So uh, what for loop does is it will iterate through a list or it will iterate through an array. So this range function, this range function will create an array of 1 to 11. Okay, so why are we taking 11? We want to create the multiplication table until 10. So we are taking 11 because in Python range function, the last number is left. So the list created by this range function will be from 1 to 10. Okay. 11 will not be included. This is why we are writing until 11. If we write 10, then 10 will be excluded. Okay. So now this range function has created this list or this array. Okay. Now, what this for loop will do is it will take this i variable and in each iteration or in each time this for loop runs, it will take different values from this list. Like this first time, it will take the value one, then execute all the command, then go back to this for loop, then take the value two, execute all these programs, then go back to this for loop, take the value three. Now, I know this is a bit confusing. This is why I have told you to watch that video first. But let's try to write the instruction first. Then we'll see that how the things build up. Okay. So let me first try. Then I'll explain you. 
okay so this is the main command that will create our table so let us take a look at our table first so what is the format here first we are writing the number so like we have selected 8 in this example so the input will be printed here actually it should be x okay we have taken the variable x and it should be x here also okay so uh, let me open this one so here you can see first we have to write the number for which the table is created then a comma because we want to add more uh, entries in here then we'll write a string inside a string for this multiplication sign okay so we are simply writing x here and then we are writing the i as i have told you this i will iterate until this list is completed so it will write first one then two then three then four then five then six until the list is completed or in this case until 10 comes okay then we have added another space okay you can also add an equal to here if you want so let me add an equal to uh, okay so let us add an equal to and another space so that it looks good uh, we are adding comma to separate these values and then what we are doing is we are writing this x which is the input that we have taken for which we want to create the multiplication table and i now i is increasing after each iteration so in the first iteration the value of x is 8 in this case and then the value of y is uh, i is 1 okay so 8 into 1 is 8 in the second iteration the value of i is 2 so it becomes 8 into 2 which is 16 and this will go on and go on and go on until the number 10 is reached and 8 into 10 is equal to 18 okay so this is how the program works and i hope this was very simple for you and i have a few small projects like this on my channel if you want to practice your skills of loops and conditional and all that you can just uh, watch those videos and practice your skills and i'll meet you in my next lecture bye bye